Okay, so today I'm going to talk about yesterday's dance class, something I learned. Uh, it's about being a more assertive, in my case, being a more assertive Asian. <clears throat> so something I've learned now from a couple weeks of dance class, we did swing yesterday. And I did tango last week and we kind of went over them again yesterday. Um, so being Asian, I've always been... Okay, how do I say this? I think I'm an assertive person, okay? I, if you look at me at work, if you look at me when I used to do 4PP, when I was on uh, podcast recordings, I think I'm pretty assertive. I think I'm pretty outgoing. Uh, I think I'd like to think of myself as a leader. But uh, as an Asian kid growing up, I was always pretty timid and shy. Uh, I remember I, did, I tried out for the basketball team. I didn't make it. I promise you I was good enough to make it, but I... I was I didn't have that personality to be going out there and say, "Hey, give me the ball, give me the ball." You know, I was always I remember being at at, at tryouts and like, like they, we would be running down the court and I just kind of like shy away because like, oh god, I don't want them to throw me the ball because if I throw if they throw me the ball, like what if I screw up? And that was me in middle school. So fast forward to now, I still think I I, I still and I believe that I'm an assertive person, but when it comes to dancing, it's different. I don't know if it's because it's so much dancing itself and having to be like close up on somebody and that intimacy. I, I, I'm struggling with that a little bit. And this is why I just wanted to start dancing is to go dance with strangers and be because as like as an Asian, I think you're not used to being close to somebody else you know, unless you're dating or something, which this is something I've talked to my instructor about. So the other thing would be I'm not very assertive because Asians kind of tend to like there's a there's a saying in Japanese. It's like um, the the nail that sticks out. Like it's like if there's a bunch. If you're the one nail that's still sticking out, you need to be hammered in so so that you're like matching everybody else. There's kind of that in Asian culture, which I've noticed is different than Americans. Is that in you really want to like fit in with everybody else, and you don't want to be the ones being weird and sticking out. And so with dancing. So I've been having a problem recently because so the the guy is supposed to lead I'm supposed to lead and I'm not very confident in my in my like in what I'm supposed to do so but the thing is you need to be in dancing especially if you're leading if you're leading you need to be able to like say okay we're going over here okay we're going over there you got to make decisions like quick decisions like and quick decisions means confidence it means okay I know what I'm doing I know how to do it and this is the way I want to do it. And I go this way, you know, oh, oh, go that way, you know. So that's one thing I've really, I'm really enjoying about dancing. And yesterday I hit kind of this breakthrough where I had to start. So it's all about like, for me, it's all about the, fr like holding your frame. You have to have a very like rigid frame. And one, the other thing is, is so the, the ladies, your partner's arm is on top of you here and you have to keep your arm very rigid and you have to purposely keep it up because by keeping it up her are resting her arm on yours when you decide to go a certain direct not like this but i mean like when you go this way when you go her arm will be resting on yours and it will naturally pull her in the direction you want to go and the same thing with like the the hand on the back on the back of her shoulder by this you don't like and like pull her but by being rigid when you move See, when I move forward and back, that's going to like kind of cup her and like bring her along with it. And then so she's just got to so she's just got to respond to the cues. So, I mean, I found that to be very, very interesting and very, very cool because it's like because, you know, because in my mind, I uh, this is literally what I asked my instructor. I was like, OK, so when, when I want to go this way, I mean, like, how, how am I supposed to like, how am I supposed to convey that to her? Like, do I need to like. You know, you know, and she's like, no, no, David, no, you just, you buy, and she's like, okay, we need to work on your form. We need to make sure you stand up straight. We need to make sure that your arms are in the proper position and rigid enough to where you can lead her. And then, and then this, the, it's, it's weird, especially in now in this day and age of like, uh, consent, right? Cause like, oh, you gotta, everything's gotta be, she's got, you've gotta have her consent, but like. In dancing, it's just dancing, right? So, like, 
I'm naturally, I feel like I have to be like, we're dancing. It's like, okay, I want to go to the left. Is that okay with you? And she's like, yes, let's go to the left. I'm like, okay, let's go to the left. But no, and it's not like that in dancing. You don't have time to be like, oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, you just, okay, you be, you be a confident male and you, or confident leader and you just go. And she's like, okay, let's go. So uh, it, it's weird. It's really, really weird. It, and it's interesting. I don't know how this will play out in the future. Like, like, I wonder if the world of dance has been affected by millennials in the age of ultra consent. I, 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 I'm, maybe I'll ask my instructor the next time I'm there because it's definitely an old, very... Dancing seems like a very old classical kind of structure. The man is the man. The woman is the woman. Somebody leads. Somebody supports and follows. And, you know, I, w- I wonder if, if this, this is something that can even exist these days. You know? Like, are people going to be so outraged? Because, oh, God, God forbid a man ever be a, a, assertive and lead. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it's fun. I'm enjoying dance. I really like it. I like it because... I'm challenging myself and, you know, trying to be more assertive because I think that's, I, it's always, yeah, it's, it's something I can work on and become better at. So yeah, I just can't wait. I, I really want to, it's, it's kind of a bummer because I wish, I really wish I had a good partner to dance with because uh, again, this is something else that has come up in dance is that. As an Asian, or, you know, as an Asian, you don't really, like I said earlier, you're not really very close. You don't have, like, a lot of physical contact with, uh, especially women, uh, uh, members of the opposite sex. It's not, like, I remember when I was growing up in high school, all my girlfriends were like, oh, yeah, give me a hug, give me a hug. And they would, like, give me a hug. I'm like, okay, you know, like, it was very uncomfortable for comfortable for me uh, to just go around hugging people. That's not something what, that I was you know, very comfortable with, like, I, I, hugging my aunts, like, old ladies, maybe, is okay, but, yeah, but, uh, so, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a good dance partner to practice all this stuff with, but, like, my options are limited, because, you know, I have some, I have some close girl, female friends that I could dance with, but I also feel like, uh, dance is something that is really it seems very intimate and if you're like you both both parties have to go in knowing you know where they stand because like I, I have a I have a great ex-girlfriend she and I are super close friends like we we worked out together last week and then like we're about to go play dance dance revolution actually probably right now in about 30 minutes but but yeah, I don't think that's something that I want to like reopen with her and be like all like dancing the tango all up close and like trying to passionately do stuff, you know, like maybe that's maybe that's a can of worms that's best left with the lid on the jar. <laughs> so, yeah, there there is a dance partner that I'm, I have in mind, but uh, who knows if it'll ever work out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, and if, hopefully you guys have... If, if you have any questions, interesting stuff about dance, ask me. I probably don't have the answer because I'm not like a professional, but it'll be cool. I could go ask people who know, and this that's kind of what I'm enjoying right now about it, just this whole new world of, you know, diving into this whole new world of something different. Oh, man, I can't wait to show you guys the dance from Starlight that I'm working on. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.